Number two is not you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, yeah, it's Jumbo Kenya. Is it still us? It's still us. It's still us. Yeah. Yeah. What's number three? Man. Yeah. Yeah. What's number three? JK Live. No, uh, why are you whispering? No, no, no. I, no, are why, sh- why are you whispering, man? Do you why like you? to impress or do you like to show off? I like to show off. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. <laughs> JK Live yeah. is a show. Uh, uh, come, come closer. Okay. Yeah, you- JK Live is a show he hosts. On every, Wednesday night, oh, uh, Wednesday night, which was last night. Last is it night. very controversial? And uh, not not very, <laughs> very, very good. Uh, it gets when some guy called me gonna come somewhere. That's, that's when trouble. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, that, that, his, his friend. Eh? <laughs> he's hosted the same show in three stations, wow. so you can imagine. And in all of them, he's been chased away. I told him, leave. We can't take this anymore. Yeah, take it somewhere. Else. Take it somewhere else. Now he's brought it here. And it was last night, and it's trending at number three oh, now. In wow! The so that's how big. What did you do last night? Actually, it was very non-political. It was two brothers who are soccer stars. You know, you're Nigerian, so you know this. Soccer is a huge sport where you Mm -hmm. you come from. So here, we have these two brothers. And one of them plays for Tottenham. Mm. Right, okay. okay, and the other one plays for a second division team in Spain, but he used to play for Inter Milan. Okay, brothers, young, smart, brilliant, well Are brought they Kenyan? up. Kenyan, yeah, Kenyan, amazing, yeah, and very humble, very, very oh. humble. Him <laughs> and humbleness, <laughs> not, not in one sentence. <laughs> you can't even spell humble. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> humble. Humble. humble so joining us right mm. now to talk about uh, what she's what oh, done I mean in mm. her young life incredible incredible mm. achievements uh, her name is Arese Ogu that's right Arese Ogu she's Arese just, Ogu yeah, just written a book actually mm. a couple of years ago but it's the first time the book is in Kenya it's called The Smart Money Woman, an African girl's journey to financial freedom. So, ladies, listen up and come closer. Come closer. To- <laughs> come closer ladies. and listen up. We are g- we are gonna give them at, at least uh, twenty seconds to move closer. Okay. Okay. Come it, closer. As you come closer, come the closer book again. It's called the Smart Money Woman. Mm-hmm. Arese Ogu is from Nigeria, mm-hmm. and I think, Jalas, you should see this man. She is a journalist, mm-hmm. so she writes for a newspaper called. Business Day. Mm-hmm. She's also a television talk show host, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. On Silver Bird. Mm-hmm. She has a show called The Bridge. Mm-hmm. And uh, she sits on several boards. Hey. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine this? <laughs> this is. Hey. Is there somewhere uh, Slay Queen is? <laughs> <laughs> is there anywhere Slay Queen has been mentioned? <laughs> No Slay Queen here. Mm, okay. So we want to know why she has written this book, The Smart Money Woman, An African Girl's Journey to Financial Freedom. Arisa, welcome to Hot 96. Thank you so much for having me. You first guys time in are Kenya? Trip. First time in Kenya? This is my first time. Oh, good mm. Lord. Oh, this is it. Oh, man. I've had such a great time me. so far. <laughs> And you've not met me. Do you know, I Why are these people Nigerian. hiding you? Why are these people hiding you from their fans? You know what she said? Yeah. She thought you were Nigerian. I'm of course. He, I look like Nigerian. He pronounces my name so well. His mm. shaku is unbelievable. Mm. You can imagine. This what is, state are you from? Um, I'm Edo. Edo so I'm from Benin City, Benin City. But I live in Lagos. Mm. And first time in Kenya. This is my first time in Kenya. And you're here on a book tour. Yes, this is the East African leg of my book tour. And how come it took so long? Because this book was published in 2016. Yes, I've been to different countries, South Africa, Ghana, all over Nigeria, um, the UK. We did London and Manchester. So it's taken a while. Oh, so you've been all over. All over. Because so, the book is self-published and I don't have like a publisher backing me mm, and pushing me. So mm, mm. we have to kind of get creative with the way that we push it. Great. Okay. And you're doing a couple of talks. You've already done one or two. And you yes. have one more coming up. We'll t- talk about it in a moment. Tell us, what is the smart money woman? So basically, I like to say that it's like sex in the city meets money, but, but for the African girl. Um, So it's basically a book about five African girls, their personal finance struggles, and it talks about love, friendships, relationships, family pressure, society, um, 
all the things that are lifestyle but with money at the core of it and it has smart money lessons and exercises at the end of each chapter so you feel like you're reading a sex and city type book or, mm. or watching a movie but you're learning and at the end of the um, book you basically have like a simple blueprint to sort of work out your personal finances obviously it is fiction it is fiction but is it based on any personal experiences well I like to say that all the characters have a little bit of me in them they have a little bit of my friends stories you know <clears throat> But I, it's very relatable. I think all the women... I was so surprised when I did the thing at Strathmore Business School yesterday. Half the women in the room had read the book already. Ooh. And I've never been to Kenya before. I was just like, small, Arisa, big God. Can you imagine just doing your work and then it's reaching so many people that you've never met? It's wow. amazing. Wow. So what <laughs> motivated you to write this? Well, it basically started with a personal struggle that I had. Um, when I was 27, my marriage ended and I had a one-year-old child and I basically had to restart my whole life. Um, move into a new apartment. In Nigeria, we have to pay two years rent up front. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Buy new furniture. Hey, 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 hey. Is that where you want to stop now? Let us stop at that point. Yeah. If you're moving into an apartment yes. in Nigeria, yes, it happened to me. Uh, you have to pay two, two years. years rent. <laughs> now imagine. Uh, sorry to cut you off. Imagine mm. rent. When, when we were there, eh? mm. Ikoi or VI <laughs> mm. in Lagos, eh? most mm. expensive. Yeah. You're paying $20,000 a month. $20,000 a month. Multiply that by, by 20, two years. 24 by months. By 24 months. Multi Do that math. Oh, my. The landlord has paid his mortgage. <laughs> He's paid, right? Yep. Two years up front, by the way, there's no negotiation. Yeah. Because the, the, the line the is price. waiting outside. <laughs> Yep. So where? What, what about this place? I want to go stay in. Is it very expensive? Which place? Uh, Lekki. Lekki's yes. not bad. Lekki's, Lekki's where I really live. come on. It's it's really nice. Lekki, Lekki. It's, it's very yeah, expensive. The, if I go to Nigeria, that's the place I need to stay. In. Yes. <laughs> No, not anywhere. Else. Not anywhere. Else. Yeah. Lucky. There's electricity there every day. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? If not, there's Jen. Wow. Okay. They have Jen. <laughs> Nepa. Nepa, don't bring light to. Nepa, don't bring light to. Generator Nigeria. won't turn my ear. Generator you won't turn. You are Nigerian. <laughs> Just confess now. Uh, confess. <laughs> so Lake is a good place. It's a very nice place. So how that, much? That, that's where Arisa lives. How yeah. much? Uh, averagely. Well, it's not as expensive as Ikoi and VI, mm. but... It's quite expensive these days. So let's say what? Five thousand dollars? Ten thousand dollars? Um, yeah, how about that? Okay, so ten thousand times twenty four is what? Two hundred and forty thousand dollars. Quarter of a million dollars times a hundred? Yes. Go on. Two hundred and forty thousand times a hundred, go on. Ooh. Two point four twenty four million. Twenty four million. See you in Bonanua. So just buy a new one. You just need to buy an apartment. <laughs> yeah, yeah sure. Only how much That's are apartments in Nigeria? Oh good. Twenty four million you can't get something? If you have it up front, yeah. if you have twenty four million, yeah, the, since this is what you're paying, two hundred forty thousand mm. dollars. If you have it up front, yes. But how many people can afford that? Oh man! <laughs> Do you want to move to Nigeria? No, no, no. <laughs> lucky, lucky. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very okay here. <laughs> And my landlord's only asked for two months. Okay, so your husband leaves you. Yeah. You have a one year old kid. You're twenty seven years old. Yeah. Crisis big crisis but it was an aha moment for me because I realized I worked in financial services and this put a huge like drain on my savings and investments and I thought wow what have I been doing with my money and if I'm in this predicament there are loads of really smart young women who don't have the excuse of saying I'm a low income earner but are living from paycheck to paycheck and not saving and investing enough so I wanted to create content that talk to people like me who like the good life so we want to live well but we're really scared of being poor um, and I realized that in Africa the focus is just on earning we tell our children become a doctor be a lawyer be an accountant or whatever now an entrepreneur but the focus is on earning money but it's not on keeping and growing it mm. we're not taught in any formal framework how to keep money or grow money we just Go through secondary school, university, get your first job, and people just ha expect you to magically know how to manage your money properly. Yeah. Um, so I want to create content that basically spoke to the person like me. Hmm. <laughs> how is the book doing? 
It's doing really well. How it's, many copies so far? <laughs> um, over ten thousand. Hello, ten thousand copies. I'm pretty proud of that because that's it's a bestseller. Published in Nigeria. That's a bestseller. Yes. It is. Yeah. It is a How bestseller. How many copies in? About twenty five thousand. Twenty five thousand. But I published yeah. in twenty fifteen. Yeah. Here's a book. That's eh? amazing. Here's a book called Yay. Through My African Eyes. Do you find that it's really e- it's easier to publish in Kenya? Do you have like big publishers? We ha- we have oh. really good publishers. Huge. Mm. Yeah, the one and I distribution. use. Distribution. D- yeah, but uh, obviously, um, like you, the yeah. PR and the marketing you have to do yourself, mm. right? Because I don't know about Nigerians, but <laughs> Kenyans hate to read. <laughs> If that you want to hide anything, put it in a book. Hello. <laughs> no, we had post election violence here in Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> which no, means this, what? No, no, no. We had a very bad post election violence here in which, 2007. Which, which you prevented remember? people from reading? No, no, no. Just be calm. Okay. <laughs> Every store was raided, apart from bookshops. <laughs> Every single store was raided. <laughs> All bookshops were left intact with the books. <laughs> with the books, and no one no touched, one touched in the shelves. It. In the shelves, people raided hotel for know, chips. You know, people, people say the same thing about Nigeria. But, when I was writing a book, people thought I was crazy because they were like, "Listen, I said Nigerians don't read. We don't have a big reading culture, and they're certainly not going to read a personal finance book." But I found ways around that because see the cover. Yeah. There's a slay queen in front. So people, slay. all the fashion girls love it. Um, mm. It's a story. So it's easier to sort of like understand People see themselves in the characters in the book They see their mothers They see their friends Mm. So it's like really fun Um, I wanted women to talk about it The way they talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta Mm. So And that's basically what's happened It's gone viral on social media People, you know, are talking about it Sending me messages saying Arisa, my life has changed And it's I have to say that the book, I feel like it's changed my life. Yeah. So you, you've given a couple of talks. You're giving another one before you leave. You yes. leave on the weekend. So on Friday, you have a talk? On Friday, I have a talk. Where? Um, Zoomy offices. So in it's Westlands. a private in Westlands. It's a private party. But if you follow me on Instagram at Smart Money RSA, I'm giving away 10 tickets to some of my Kenyan audience. Again, at Smart Money RSA. That's A R E S E. At Smart Money RSA. And also, if you want to learn, if you want to buy the book or <coughs> you want to buy my online course, which has 30 videos, 16 worksheets, and eight modules, it's called the Smart Money Blueprint. I'm giving my Kenyan audience 25% off while I'm in Kenya. So take advantage of it. If you follow me on Instagram, you can find the details. Okay. And um, is this book available on Amazon? It is. It's available on Amazon. The, s- the yeah. Smart Money Woman, an African girl's journey to financial freedom. Praise for the Smart Money Woman. Mm-hmm. A must read for anyone looking to get a better understanding on financial literacy. Who's that? That is a Peace Head, correspondent of Forbes Africa. Hello. Yes. <laughs> this is huge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is huge. Yeah. Mm. Who are you in this book? Which character are you? <laughs> I'm all of them. Ah. I'm all of them. Ah. I have no favorites. How old is your one year old now? <laughs> She's almost seven. She's going to be seven in July. What does she think of what mommy's done? Oh, I dedicated the book to her. She's so, she calls herself Small Money Baby. <laughs> She calls herself small money baby. She's like she's she's super proud. She loves the fact that, you know, people stop her and say, Oh, are you Sakura? And her teachers say, Oh, I read your mommy's book. Oh. So she loves that. Wow. Coming back to Nigerians and reading, do they? Do you know I can only speak for my book. They've really read my book. Are you surprised by that? Well, I was hopeful, but I think they love it so much that they went and pirated it. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't we surprised? It's Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> so it's available in uh, Oshodi <laughs> and uh, uh, Oju Elegba. Oh no, what? It's available on WhatsApp. <laughs> it's available on WhatsApp. Oh my WhatsApp. God, it's Miguna's book. Huh? Mm. Yeah. Mm. It was so painful. I cried for three days because obviously this was like my blood, sweat, and tears. I self published this thing in Nigeria um, with, you know, you have to basically be resourceful we don't have big distribution channels in nigeria Mm -hmm. we have really small bookstores i had to basically 
leverage on other people's distribution channels like Health Plus Pharmacies, House of Tara, because they have like 40 stores across the country and they had never sold books before. So after all of that hard work, see my book on WhatsApp. <laughs> Someone's buying it, selling it. There's a girl selling it for 1,500 naira. <sighs> Now why my work? <laughs> but then I got over it because you know what happened in a, in an accidental way. It made my brand bigger. Mm-hmm. Um, it reached more markets like Kenya. Um, <laughs> so I got messages from lots of people um, in Kenya, Tanzania, saying, "I read your book. I love your book. I want to buy the hard copy." Mm-hmm. So I decided to come here and my hosts, Nana Wanjao and Carolyn Mandy, they put together such an amazing um, tour in Kenya for mm. me. So I'm so, so grateful. For that goal. Yeah. So if you're the one who has uh-huh. the WhatsApp version, it's <laughs> so time to come for the real deal. Yes. yes. Yeah. Buy your own. <laughs> <laughs> Molly hashtag design says mm. Rese is a true definition of the woman I want to be. Aww. Little tidbits woven to a powerhouse. Oh hey. my days. Mabuka Junior says so you are such a real inspiration to our ladies and sisters. Keep on doing the good work you're doing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Some well, love, some love coming down absolutely. here. Absolutely. Were you were you nervous coming to Kenya? Were you uh, a little hesitant? Were you uh, what were your thoughts? I'm always nervous before I take on like a big project, but it it, it is kind of nerve wracking when you're coming to a country you've never been to before, mm. to meet people you've never met before. Um, but that has been the beautiful thing about my book tour in mm. different countries. I'm basically meeting women who I met on social media, mm. <laughs> who are I'm taking a risk and they're taking a risk as well, bringing me over to their country, hosting me, um, planning these events. Like it's mm. such a big hosting thing. should have not been a problem. <laughs> if only they knew me earlier <laughs> You would have housed me, fed very, me Very, very well, Aww. very well very not, well. not just housed <laughs> Housed <laughs> 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 <laughs>